So let's do some review of international trade and open economy topic. So in this topic, the most important thing are two concepts. First one is the open economy calculations. So this open economy means that the country has a freedom to purchase the products from other countries. And the other type, type two, is a trade. So in a trading, it means that the country, there are several countries, or it's what you commonly see will be a two-country economy. So the two countries will exchange products and to trigger international trade. So let's firstly review the open economy calculations. The open economy, the most important is the graph that's shown here. So for the open economy, calculation, the most important thing that you have to know is that the country has a freedom to purchase unlimited amount from other countries. So for example, if this is a domestic supply, I use SD, domestic supply, and then we have domestic demand. And here, SF is a foreign supply at price P0. So if I am the normal consumer, without the trade, the equilibrium point will be point A here at price P star, Q star. We can see that P star is higher than Q, is higher than P0. So if I am the consumer and for example, this one is 100 and P0 is 50. So if I know that if I purchase from the domestic suppliers, we, I have to pay $100. But if I purchase from foreign suppliers, I only need to pay $50. So what I will do is just to purchase from the foreign suppliers because it's much cheaper than the domestic suppliers. So what will happen is that the, all the consumers will purchase from the foreign suppliers at price equals to 50. So at this point, domestic supplier has no choice but to charge $50 as well. Because if it even charge 51, nobody will purchase from it. So that's why we have one very important supply curve. And this shows up sometimes in the final exam. So the supply curve for the domestic consumers will be the yellow part that show up here. So it's a king, the curve. If the price is lower than the price charged by the foreign suppliers, the consumers will purchase from domestic suppliers. So this is the first part. And then at this point, suppliers cannot charge more than $50. So the yellow line is our actual supply curve. And then let's look at the amounts that will be traded. So at point P0, the intersection between the demand curve and the price line, which is here, is our QD, demand. And if the suppliers are only allowed to charge $50. This QS is whatever will be supplied by the domestic suppliers. And the difference here is our export. So let's show this concept using the problem from the 2012 final exam. 